Uh, Arlene asks, how effective is it to use a piece of aluminum foil to protect from EMFs? My naturopathic doctor recommended this. Thank you. Uh, it blocks wireless, but it's not extremely effective as a shielding material. Um, as far as I'm cons as as my understanding goes, is that you wouldn't use it in a professional shielding job. Uh, the only time that I did use it was I was in Las Vegas in a hotel, and I took my meter, detected that that by my nightstand there was this phone that I couldn't disconnect and it was essentially a wi-fi router right it was basically in the red zone it is a wireless phone of course that had like a strong wi-fi signal or bluetooth so i <laughs> i completely enveloped it in several layers of aluminum foil and it brought down the levels uh to a large extent but it was not perfect so is there any any time, Brian, that you would use aluminum paper in your business? I don't think so, right? There are more effective materials that will also have longevity. Yeah, I mean, it's usually just like if, if you have that around, you're kind of acting like MacGyver or coming up with the, red, <laughs> the redneck solution of EMF mitigation, you know? So, but I do often like tell people like for now, go go to your kitchen, grab some aluminum foil, wrap it around your smart meter. If it's really, if it's really bothering someone acutely, it's kind of like you just use what you have around the house to, to mitigate it. But, but yeah, there are some better solutions that you can travel with. There's, um, fabrics that you can wrap around things, um, and get a better seal. Like aluminum is very tricky to work with sometimes where it, it rips easily. <clears throat> so, um, if you want something that's more, robust or, or has more longevity or durability than getting some kind of bag like sh of shielding fabric made or, or sewing a bag, bag, you know, purchasing some shielding fabric from one of the EMF stores that's out there and uh, sewing up a, a bag with a little, you know, elastic or, or, or a drawstring on it that can work really good for, for things like that. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Piano. I am the co-creator of the EMF Circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our Circle members. Every month, we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a cars master class. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.